Sutra. The assembly received this order and withdrew, saying to one another, We of the assembly do not need to clear our minds and use our intellect to compose a verse to submit to the High Master. What use would there be in this? Shen Xiao is our senior instructor and teaching transmitter. Certainly he should be the one to obtain it. It would be not only improper for us to compose a verse, but a waste of effort as well. Hearing this, everyone put his mind to rest and said, Henceforth, we will rely on Master Shen Xiao. Why vex ourselves writing verses? Commentary They went away to other courts, other gardens, and other buildings, saying to themselves, why worry about writing this verse? We do not need to waste the effort. I believe the people who spoke this way were of Shen Xiu's party. Why did they not write verses? Because Shen Xiu's followers were trying to make him the patriarch. All his followers, disciples, Dharma brothers, friends, and relatives contrived to set up the position for Shen Xiu. They convinced everyone else not to write verses, because if anyone else wrote verses, then perhaps Shen Xiu might not get to be the next patriarch. They secretly passed it around and whispered behind the scenes, like friends of a candidate for president, for president who say, Hey, for, vote for this one, he can be president. They spread it about and stopped the ballot box. Convinced that they had no learning, the assembly decided it was useless to write verses. Swayed by the rumors, they said, The senior seated Shen Xiu is second to the abbot. His literary skill is good. His virtue is high. He lectures on the sutras and speaks drama for us. Certainly, he should become the sixth patriarch. When the assembly heard Shen Xiu's followers saying things like, If we write verses, they will be very unpolished and certainly not good enough to submit. They all decided not to write their verses themselves. They didn't want to complete with they didn't want to compete with Shen Xiu, their superior. Sutra Shen Xiu then thought the others are not submitting verses because I am their teaching transmitter. I must compose a verse and submit it to the high master. If I do not submit a verse, how will the High Master know whether the views and understanding in my mind are deep or shallow? If my intention in submitting the verse is to seek the Dharma that is good, but if it is to grasp the Patriarchate that is bad, for how would that be different from the mind of a common person converting to the holy position? But if I do not submit a verse, in the end, I will not obtain the drama. This is a terrible difficulty. Commentary The fifth patriarch had announced that in order to obtain the drama, one must compose a verse. Shen Xiu knew that if he did not submit one, the fifth patriarch would not know whether Shen Xiu had wisdom and he could not transmit the drama to him. Shen Xiu fretted and worried, What shall I do? This is very hard. It is just too difficult. Sutra. In front of the fifth patriarch's hall were three corridors. The walls were to be freeze cold by court artist Lu Chen with stories from the Lankavatara Sutra and with pictures portraying in detail the lives of the five patriarchs so that the patriarchs might be venerated by future generations. Commentary The court artist is one appointed as an official to the imperial court because of his talent. The title of the Lankavatara Sutra has two meanings, city and cannot be gone to. This city, located behind Malayan mountain, is inaccessible to those without spiritual powers. Shakyamuni Buddha used his spiritual powers to go there and speak the Lankavatara Sutra for the benefit of those who had spiritual powers. This court, the court artist 
was to depict the miraculous, inconceivable, wonderful transformations which took place in the assembly on Lanka Mountain. The court artist was also to paint pictures illustrating the flow of the drama from the great master Bodhidharma, the first patriarch, to the great master Hui Kuo, the second patriarch, and onward from generation to generation, to the fifth patriarch, great master Hung Chen. The paintings would remain in the world so that future generations might receive benefit from respecting and making offerings to them. Sutra, after composing his verse, Shen Xiu made several attempts to submit it, but whenever he reached the front hall, his mind became agitated and distraught, and his entire body became covered with desperation. He did not dare submit it, although in the course of four days he made thirteen attempts. Commentary Shen Xiu's students were not greedy to become patriarch, but Shen Xiu had a great desire for the position. Whenever he tried to submit his verse, he went a little crazy. What I am going to do? Is this verse right or not? Can I submit it? He did not know if it was right or wrong. Ah, maybe. Is it this way or is it that way? Maybe it isn't. Maybe it is more or less. Endless questions flooded his mind, making him extremely nervous. Every time he tried to hand it in, he broke out in a heavy sweat. Why? It is a huge gamble. If he failed, he would not be a patriarch. But if he passed, he would. Fear of failure caused him extreme agitation. It was really suffering, really hard work. It is not easy to be patriarch. Look at how much effort he expended. For four entire days and nights, he never shut his eyes.